All right, here we are. I said I probably wasn't going to do this, um, but I went ahead and bought a splitter to try it that way with recording because I could never get recording to work quite like I wanted. And looks like this is working. Uh, first time I've ever recorded anything on uh, console. But uh, yeah, let's hope the capture card works right and I don't have any stuttering. It looks like it's working perfectly. So uh, let's just get into it. If you've never watched one of my videos, I do a lot of rambling and I don't edit the videos. Um, it's kind of just how I work. It's a lot easier for me to do, especially with a full-time job. So I will just get straight to it. Impressions of this game after, uh, what, a couple of days now? and I've only really got to play it a few times, it's amazing. It's great. Um, if I had to give it like a score out of 100, I'd go 89. And that's really high with me. Um, I'm very, very picky. Like, iRacing, single player, with their AI, it's maybe a 30, if that. Um, this game, for what it is, you have to remember... I'm not comparing it to iRacing, I'm not comparing it to other games, but for what it is, what it's supposed to be, uh, it's amazing. I love it. It brings back all the memories of my childhood of Dirt Track Racing, Dirt Track Racing 2, Dirt Track Racing Sprint Cars, and that was kind of the end of my console PC dirt racing until Dirt Factor and all the R Factor stuff came out. Never did the Road to Knoxville stuff. Never really looked good. The Tony Stewart stuff never really looked good. And I know a lot of people are going, well, that's just what this is. If it is, then, well, you know what? This looked better, and it was presented better. And, of course, it's from iRacing. Even though I give a lot of negative feedback about iRacing... I support everything they do because they have saved sim racing, John Henry, and um, the whole team. And uh, now it appears they're on their way to save console racing because NASCAR Thunder 2003, I'll give you that. That game, probably a 97, 98 on my scale. Um, for back in the day. If I tried like I've tried to play it again. Never go back and play old games. Uh, it's it's painful. You're like, "Wow, this is not how I remember it." But this game this game fills the need and I'm hopeful that this is a building block for iRacing racing and Monster to get the NASCAR license back or even go for a different NASCAR license. I already posted this on Twitter, but do a NASCAR Roots game. The same format. Give us Wheel and Mods, Arca, local paved short track stuff. Um, that'd be fun too. But let's get to this game. This game is great. Um, so what you got is you got your career. You've got your headquarters. Now, the way I play console games, I just, you know, I'm not here looking for a hard time. I'm looking for something to do, something fun, on a controller. I don't race in cockpit view. Um, you know, I'm reliving my childhood, essentially. So you have your three different series. Uh, you got your team. And what you can do is regional series in 305 Street Stocks. You have to buy all these. Um so I've got 305 Street Stocks and Pro Late Model that I haven't done a race with yet. Um, then you got your local races, which is it's still like a touring series. Um, it's fun. Obviously, I'm doing way too good. I need to up the difficulty. But then you have your national series, which you got to get to 50,000 fans. You can see that in the top right. We're at 8,800. I do wish that they had different options for starting. Um, be a rich banker and instantly be able to pay to go to the Nationals. Um, 
or, you know, somewhere in the middle, just so you don't always have to start out at the bottom. Um, because it's racing. Money lets you jump in there. So, yeah, I haven't even got up to the, I guess, what's the word for it? Like, the marquee series of the game, you know? This is like I'm still playing AAA or AA in uh, the show and haven't even really experienced the whole game. But I wanted to get my thoughts out there because some people were asking. And, you know, never... You know, do your research. Never just take one person's opinion because what I might like, someone else is going to hate. And there will be people saying, no, you're wrong about this. This isn't like Rat Bag. Uh, you know what? This is exactly how Rat Bag was. Uh, it's the same format. It's the same. You can, you know, just, you get the same experience, which is awesome. So, Got your headquarters. You got personnel. Uh, it looks like they bought a whole bunch of stock photos of people. Um, I, you know, I really, I don't know. They, I don't know how to say this. And if they're real people, I guess cool. But it's just a bunch of people that don't look like humans. You know, it's a bunch of models for photos. Like, I'll just take pictures of staff and put them as these people. Uh, my driver. As you can see, I've been doing way too good. Stats, lifetime stats, earnings, that's awesome. That's always good to have. Uh, you've got this. Now, one thing I want, uh, if you're listening, let me come in and edit these drivers, change their paint schemes and their names. Um, let me put my local 305 drivers in here and try to paint up cars as close as I can, change the numbers. Uh, because racing against random lower people, not all that exciting. You know, it's hard to remember who's who unless you get a thousand races in. Um, let us edit this roster. Uh, that would that would be a nice big jump. Um, but anyways, let's just hop into a race. And we're going to go 305s because, honestly, they're the easiest. Um, so you get into career options. Now, this is one thing that I did not do right. Uh, career options, and you need to change your race length also in career options. So I've seen some people asking about that. Uh, we're going to go 50% just because 100%. 100% is only like 15, 16 minutes worth of racing but it's still uh, a little long for this video for what it is. Wheel-to-wheel uh, -wheel contact, you can adjust this. If you think that they're flipping too much in the sprint cars, you can turn it down. If you want more, you can turn it up. Um, driving, this is all preset for normal controllers. I haven't changed anything. I know people are going to look at this and go, what? Why are you racing like this? Like I said, if I'm going to hop into a game like this, I want it to be fun. To me, this is fun. It's not like it's driving the car for me. It's just making it feel more realistic for me while I'm sitting here driving with my thumbs. AI, why can't we have this in iRacing? Like, this is so much easier and actually does things. It's really good. Um, and then the wheel-to-wheel -wheel contact stuff. That's a really good thing. Um, stability, like... If I turn this down, I can run into people and spin them out. We don't have this option in iRacing, which is why iRacing single player gets a whole zero percent pretty much on my ranking, like 30 just because it works on road. Um, yeah, I haven't changed anything on this. This is all how it is. I That's what I love, getting into a game and just being able to play it and not have to screw around like... Uh, the Monster Energy Supercross games, I can't play those. Uh, I can't keep the thing on the track. I want a game that I can play. I don't want a game that's frustratingly hard. Because, um, to me, that's what console racing is. I already have iRacing. You know, that's hard enough. I don't need that for when I just want to have fun. So, 
Let's go do this uh, first event. This is at Kokomo, track we all know from iRacing. And uh, hopefully the sound is okay. I haven't changed anything um, from all my other games, so I'm hoping that it's all working correctly. You know, there's a lack of music, but now we got some, now we got some sound. So uh, my the skill level and the car are pretty strong right now, so you'll also see I can't change the setup because of how easy we have it on. Let's just go into practice real quick, Let's see if this even does what I want it to do. Now that I've got it hooked up to the monitor. So to me, this driving, what I'm doing here, even though I'm not counter steering, I feel the car, I can tell the car where I want it to go. I'm getting realistic lines, I can run up here. I'm not struggling and looking like a complete idiot. That's why I've left the settings at the end. Alright, so that's practice. Get an hour of practice. I don't know why they have that long. It's kind of the new thing in games. I know the NASCAR games always had an hour or two. Um, so we'll go qualify and skip qualifying. Now, top side does feel a little weaker, but that could just be because we're in a 305. Um, obviously, 305s in Knoxville in real life are bottom feeders, and we're in the wall in qualifying, but it's not high racing, so it counts. Broke that badly. All right, we qualify first because. Way too easy. So you really don't know what's going on in the other heats. That's one thing that I dislike about this game is you don't really get that feeling of, oh, they didn't make the main. They got to go through the B. You know, there's nothing like that. Welcome to Heat One. The top two But, uh, let's go run our heat. We're gonna drop back a little bit, because obviously we're overpowered right now. Money. Give you an idea of what the racing's like. You get some really good two-lane racing with the AI. They don't really seem to be restricted on physics. Um, sometimes you'll see the AI kind of like load up out of your way. Uh, other times they won't and you'll run into them with wheel to wheel contact that we've got. The settings at it uh, will do your things with your car. I'm going to go ahead and back off here so we don't have to do the dash save us a bit of time here. Like I said, right now we're a bit overpowered. I'm going to bump the settings up as I get higher up, but right now I don't want to be stuck in 305s for five years trying to advance to the National Series. But uh, replay-wise, everything looks good. Some things are really bright shiny, a little overdone, but, uh, I mean, it's a good looking game. Alright, so, let's get to the A main. This is where the fun begins. Cautions are odd. Getting going on the starts in mid-pack is very odd. Uh, you gotta keep the wheel cranked to the left, otherwise you'll get shot up into the outside lane. We got 25 cars, and uh, we are in seventh right now. You see, 
see the track didn't change at all. Or at least not that I can tell. That's something they can improve on. Uh, definitely. I think, uh, you know, if you're going to have night lighting, it would be interesting if we get night lighting at the Soil Speedway. Uh, yeah, then I'm racing. But, uh, you're going to have different lighting, you can have different track settings, you know, have it a random draw, khaki or dry slick or whatever. We go to different camera views, it looks really loud. Obviously, I have got too many upgrades on my 305 now and need to just bump things up to hard. But we'll go do the late model real quick. I think I think our first race in it is at uh, either Weed Sport or Port Royal. See, as you race, everything goes down in durability and power. So you got to constantly repair that. Um, but the repairs are not that expensive. I think probably not even that expensive, even if you're not winning races. But, okay, go back to headquarters, go to regional, and we'll hop in our pro late model. Where are we going to? Yeah, that should be a hard track for me. Here's our uh, nice entry-level late model. I don't think we have... Yeah, we have no upgrades on these, so... We should be nice and slow with this one. You can hire a driver. It doesn't really... It's kind of stupid. Um, it's like a one-off race, and you just like instantly get the money and results. A little weird to me. Uh, so let's see. We're doing 20 laps. I'm fine with that. We'll have shorter heat races, but if I wanted that to go up, you can just change the race length for each race as you go to it. You can see the schedule. Um, we go to Port Royal next, Kokomo, 
and then some for the fantasy tracks mixed in, which uh, someone asked me about that on Twitter. I love them. You know, some of them are weird shaped, but at a game like this, you're not going to get the fine differences between a 10 degree banked clay oval compared to a dirt 14 or 8 degree. You know, it's kind of an oval's an oval. So having a little variation helps at this level of realism. Uh, let's go practice and see how bad I am. Oh, weed sport first turn. Yep, I suck at this track. to the next session. straight to the A. I don't know why they play the National Anthem right before the A main. Um, it's one of those things that, okay, whatever. Maybe it's a uh, Northeast thing, but yeah, we, uh, we do it after hot laps. 
in the heats. But I guess it really doesn't matter. Okay, so they got all slow there, and now I'm getting all funky down the straightaway. And there we go. Get back in line. 20 laps. With the fender cars, you seem to get less cautions, just because you don't have that wheel to wheel contact flipping things like uh, with the spring cars. And we're 
a lap car. But we did not wreck the leader, so we haven't fully chicken streaks yet. Uh, we might, as we almost go into the bed sand or in the wall. Can we get back ahead of him for the last lap? 16th. Yeah, I mean, just look how cool this game is. Now, some of these camera angles, I'm like, what is, what is this here? Wish we had a few more TV cameras. I guess that's why my neck hurts. Look at my head bouncing around there. So yeah, there's there's the racing aspect of it. Um, it's, it's a great game. It, it really is a great game. So we got thirteen thousand dollars for that. Jesus. Be able to fund all our lower series by mid-pack finishes in this series. Oh, and we gained 494 fans. Uh, okay, and I used up all my cheap equipment. Port Royal next. We're not going to show that on this video. Um, and then, yeah, we got another sponsor agent thing that you can go put in. But, yeah, this game, it is... Like, if I had this... If we had this, you know, back when dirt track racing came out, this would just, these graphics, everything about this game is awesome. Um, it is such a good start. And there are things that need fixed. There are minor things that have issues, but that's always going to be the case. Um... Haven't done online, don't care about online. I have iRacing for online. There are other people out there that will review online. And uh, I'm sure tell you what it's like, but it's not something I do on console. Um, if we go into Quick Race, I'll show you all the tracks. You can just pick all the series. Let's go look at the cars here. Uh, that is mine, I haven't painted it. Jacob Allen, they don't, like... To view the cars, there's not like a good camera for this. I want to be able to spin around and circle these cars as I go through them. Just to see the paint schemes. But, you know, they look good. Obviously, all the same body. Um, that's fine. That's not a big deal. But, yeah, I want to... Uh, want to be able to take some of these... And uh, some of the fake ones that are out there, and be able to repaint them to people that I know. And I think, you know, that would be a good thing to have that roster edit for the lower series at least. But it's a great game. I mean, it's got tons of drivers in here. I haven't even looked at that, but that's a lot of drivers there. Late model wise, quite a few drivers. Late models just. I love the look of late models, but I really dislike late model racing now. I modern dirt late model racing has just kind of become boring to watch compared to sprint cars. Um, I've tried to watch it on flow. I just, I much rather watch uh, sprint cars. So, most of the, I know some of these names, but I don't know a whole lot about, you know, the top of that. Top late model drivers in the country now. Um, Yeah, I don't know how many of these are real 360 guy. Well, I know Blake Hahn is real 360 guy. That's awesome. I didn't even realize he was in the game. They did a really good job, but well, all right. 
What? Can I throw Hudson under the bus? I like to do that every couple of months. Tyler would not be able to drive a sprint car. Sorry, Tyler. I know he's doing good in his late model. So not a whole lot of 360 guys there. Uh, the pro late models. Let's see if there's any names that I know out. Just watching his streams, I don't think Fandango would uh, be able to run a pro late model. No offense to him. Um... Yeah, see, this is why I want the be able to change the way that I'm looking at the car while we're going through this. This is a really good looking car. Um, but yeah, I, do they have real 305s or is it? Yeah, I don't know because there's so many 305s in the world. Let's see if there's any that I know. Yeah, I don't know any of those names. So, all right, let's just show the tracks that they have. So, you've got Bristol, Cedar Lake, Charlotte, Eldora, Fairbury, Knoxville, Kokomo, Vegas Dirt Track. Um, God, this place sucks to go to. If you've ever been there, it's always the driest track because, well, it's Las Vegas. It's so dusty every time I've been there. Lima Lands DLC that will be coming out later. Port Royal, Texas, Dirt Track, uh, Volusia, Weedsport, Williams Grove. Then you get into the fake tracks. Um, but you don't have any really crazy ones. Like Dirt Track Racing had some really stupid egg shaped tracks. These aren't bad. Um, this thing's. 5 eighths mile, pretty massive track. 410. This is kind of like a Manzanita looking one. I think that's what they were going for with Desert Rock, Arizona. Diamond Grove, little tiny one. And you got some indoor stuff, because why not? Uh, Elm Creek is actually one of my favorite ones. Um, really, really cool track where you go off the edge, very tight corners, little fifth mile. Um... Then you got three eighths miles, quarter mile here. I eighty four, I think, is the biggest one, a three quarter mile track. So, pretty big thing. And then you got some third miles here. And this thing, I think, have I been to that one? No, I haven't. There's another indoor one. This thing is uh, kind of like uh, Bellevue, right? Is that the right? name yeah the high banks belleville bellevue i can't remember and i live like 100 miles away from there anyways uh this is probably the weirdest one of them all i guess these two i would call them short tracks with uh a bit of triangular but you know what like i said you got you got to change it up uh, then you got like a kind of Indianapolis looking rectangle one. But the good thing is there's a ton of them. So you're not getting bored with the same crap. Uh, Sterling's kind of like, uh, what is that? Taswell, I think. This thing is like really high bang, very tight corners. Um. But, I mean, look, we're still flipping through this stuff. There are so many tracks, and that's what I said initially that I wanted from this game was lots of tracks, because that's the fun thing about World of Outlaws is they go to lots of tracks. So, uh, settings that you can do for this. I haven't even looked at this. Uh, it looks like you don't have... You have to go in there and change it rather than changing the laps yourself right here and being able to see what the laps are but yeah uh and i haven't even got to the best part of this game the paint booth it's just it's great it works really well i mean look at this so nice and easy you can change 
you know, let's go with this. All right, cool. Go with this. And I don't like the diamond plate or anything. Just give me some nice plain. We'll go with uh, our normal black and red. Pattern, you can put some pattern in the red. We don't want that. Accent color, that is gonna be around the red, I assume. Yeah, it is, so, you know, do something stupid like that, but we're not going to go with just black. Copy to all, there you go. Now that design is on the whole thing, or you can go and put a different design on each thing. So if you just, you want a plain white tank, cool. Now, looking at this, looking at the number placement, I'm going, God, that looks terrible. And I racing, you got what you got. With this, well, let's go up here and yeah, look this here and get it off of that. There we go. Or well, let's get it to go with the pattern a bit. Okay, that works. Or let's just make it giant. Or make it a little smaller. Um yeah, you can move it ever anywhere you want, which is great. Um, so we get back here to the tank and go ahead and move this thing and we're going to go put it back here where it belongs, move this down and rotate it, which I think we need to do, and we'll make it a little bigger. Okay. Um. All right, so we got that, but we don't want that number. Um, well, K5, okay, sure, boom, that's simple. Everything's K5 now. It's, it's a very flexible paint shop, it's very good. If you don't wanna use the patterns, you can go and make your own, add shapes, I mean, all your normal things. Yes, it's a bit basic, but down the road, hopefully it will get better. And uh, I mean, just being able to do the basic things that you can right now is so great for customizing and making it look really good. So that's my thoughts. Long video. If you made it through all of it, cool. Um, it's a great game. That's all I can say. And I hope that the video turned out well because this is the first time I've ever tried to record on a console with the capture card. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of it. And uh, yeah, good stuff. Glad we got a fun dirt racing game. Thanks for watching.